Welcome folks, Simitar here, and as I already was talking in a previous video, often even the best mods remain unnoticed due to bad luck and generally it's hard to track the whole Skyrim modding stage due to its immense size and activity. And that's why I'm happy to keep sharing the hidden gems of Skyrim modding stage with you. Old or just freshly released, tiny or huge, their main attributes are the same. They are qualitative, unique and sometimes simply essential. Let's uncover 10 more of them. One of game mechanics that always looked weird to me is that no matter how many times you clear some bandit infested place like fort, bridge or watchtower, it always becomes infested again. Not the respawn of bandits itself is weird, no, but the fact Skyrim guards always whine about how they luck fights with bandit and good bandit raids etc and do nothing in the end. Why not to claim a territory? Moreover, after Dragonborn did all the dirty work for you for free. Here is the better idea. You can do it yourself now. With the Lawbringer mod, you can claim many places in the game after you clean them from bandits. Moreover, you can choose under control of what side to give it – the local hold, imperials or storm clocks. And in the rift, by the way, if you have sided with Forsworns, you can claim some places for Forsworn faction as well. After you have claimed the territory, it will be soon populated by the guards of the respective faction. This simple action, the more you will perform it, will give you a progressive feeling of being a real peacekeeper, making Skyrim a much safer place. Skyrim has some really irrational issues when it comes to some enemies' resistances. While silver weapons had some sort of bonus damage, it was not really balanced, while enemies often didn't have reasonable resistances at all. How can you damage a ghost with a regular sword? Bring Your Silver is a simple, functional and underrated mod, which fixes that and adds more interesting features. First of all, the Undead, Vampires, Ghost, Dream Aura and Werewolves now have realistic resistances towards non-silver weapons. For example, Undead receive one third less damage from regular weapons and are almost immune to sneak attacks, which makes sense. Their organs are already a dust and serve no purpose and so don't make a weak spot. They are also resistant to magic but weak against restoration spells. Vampires receive two thirds less damage from non silver weapons but are 50% weaker to piercing silver weapons. Ghosts are almost completely immune to normal damage, etc. Similar applies to the player. When in vampire or verbal forms, player receives 50% more damage from silver weapons, which totally makes sense. Now more great stuff. The mod brings up an expanded arsenal, new silver weapons, common and unique, silver ammo, new dungard and vigilant weapons and even vampire weapons. They all have bonuses which will actually help you to find against unclean enemies or to play as a child of a knight yourself. Useful in combat and great for all playing. Lastly, all such items have logical restrictions. If a vampire will try to use a dawnbreaker or human a vampire by weapons, they will suffer a severe penalties. Bring Your Silver is highly compatible and is simple yet great addition for those who like challenging, realistic combat and immersive roleplay. Sleeping Waiting Menu is possibly one of the biggest time wasters in the game. It's just so slow that it physically hurts you. There were a couple of mods for that made them best, but not all of them were stable. And here goes the Faster Sleep Wait SKSE mod which is 100% safe, configurable in any file, you can set up the waiting time to be almost completely instant, and moreover, doesn't take a plugin slot. Simple and brilliant. Poisoning is a great combat mechanic, but its usage was pretty dull, as you can apply only single dose of poison to your weapon and after each single hit, you need to reapply it again. You also was not able to even see which poison is currently on your weapon. Not anymore. Meet Poisoning Extended. First of all, you can apply as many stacks of poison on your weapon as you wanna, so you don't need to reapply it after each swing or shot. It saves so much time. 
There is also a cozy widget which shows you which poison is currently applied. You can apply and see this on all type of weapons, melee or ranged, dual wielded, vanilla or mod added ones, etc. But there is more. You can remove current poison from a weapon anytime to apply a new one. And there is an MCM where you can configure the mod. Filling Skyrim with new ruins, clutter and generally improving the landscape's look is always a good idea and most likely a never-ending task. Many mods do this in different way, but often the placements of new objects are just too much or simply irrational. Ancient Land is built from popular Ruins mod, but works as purely aesthetical addition, adding ruins and statues across Skyrim, no weird quests and balance items, etc. Only beautiful additions across the land, which greatly improves scenery. Well, look yourself. Another, not single, yet rather a small collection is CG4 visual mod series. Outer has more of them, so I showcase just a few. One, for example, adds a rain distortion to the screen and also adds vision distortion during snowstorms. Another tiny mod adds snow sprinkles and snow drops falling down off the trees in snowy areas. The last one here is a neat little flora mod, which adds several new types of trees and bushes carefully hand placed across the wilderness without any actual performance loss, but with nice addition to beauty of forest pit areas in the game. Administer potions and poisons to friendly NPCs is a simple mod which honestly should be a base functionality in the game. It adds a toggleable ability to give a potion to a non-hostile NPC. This can serve both purely fun and roleplay, yet a combat purposes as well. Wanna make that smith work better, heal someone, or just have fun and make NPC disappear into invisibility? You can do it now. In combat though, you can buff up your followers before or during the combat to heal their injuries and to rise their offensive-defensive attributes to turn them into real war machines. Have fun! Now the three finalists I wanted to give a special shout out. First goes the EVG Conditional Idols, simply bewitching idol animation mod. It adds 7 new idol animations, which are playing with certain percentage of chance to be non-intrusive, applying for both player and NPCs. So let's look at it. Seriously, this mod is so relaxing, feeling native and well done that there is simply no reason to not have it. Wounds is a complementary combat mod which was already shown in one of my videos before, but it's genuinely such a great mod and underrated so much that I felt I must give it yet another shout out. The best part of it, it can be used on top of any combat mod like Combat Evolved, Wildcat or Ultimate Combat as it doesn't directly change the combat AI or attributes themselves. It adds various types of combat traumas you can receive in battle – injuries, bruises, cuts, concussions and broken bones. Traumas can differ in severity and type. Weaker injuries, for example if not healed, can progress into more dangerous ones. Each trauma will apply a logical debuff to your character, which goes away when trauma is healed. 
With this mod, each combat will be a challenge, which you must approach with a cold head and better a few bandages and poultices just in case. It is greatly adding to overall feeling of combat and realism of the game, but the best part here is if you will see something too hard or intrusive or maybe too easy, huh? The whole mod is highly configurable in MCM. If you watched my previous video on this topic, you remember the combat gameplay overhaul, pretty revolutionary animation mod, which adds tons of new features like grip change, 360 degrees combat, mid-air attacks and much more. CGO, as well as most of animation mods, require an engine to update them in-game, basically to make possible of such mods to work in first turn. Such engine is also needed for custom animations, some weapon mods, etc. For many years this role was played by Forest New Idols or just Finis. Yet unfortunately, this mod is no longer officially supported and its development is ended. Now imagine yourself a mod which does everything Fnees does, just doing more and better, allowing more custom animations, supporting animation mods unsupported by Fnees, and just being simpler and faster working in general. That's a Nemesis, unlimited animation engine. It is incredibly simple in usage, and if you're using plenty of animation mods, consider about using it the sooner, the better. That's all for now, fellas, and I hope you found a few interesting mods for your own collection you didn't know before about. Tell me which are your own favorite hidden gem mods and why. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. Thank you for watching and stay healthy. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.